Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mapsid. So in this video, I will deploy um, a full stack web application using the, the latest service provided by the platform. Basically, this live deployer knows how to uh, push deploys uh, using the render platform as the um, as the infrastructure deployment infrastructure. And um, all we need to do is to just drop here the, the link to your repository and the application should be uh, deployed automatically on render. Let me access some, uh, some projects on, uh, on GitHub. Uh, if I deploy, I will pick this one, Django. Okay, so we are we, we have the, the source code. I will just drop here the repository and uh, click on the go live button. Once the platform accepts the request and this is all good, uh, uh, we should uh, should be able to, to see here the, the deployment. Uh, okay, so now the Django API is, uh, is deploying. Let's uh, go back to the uh, to the deployer and um, deploy another, I don't know, uh, design. Let's say berry, it's okay. Let's take horizon, for instance, it's also cool. So this uh, product is also open source and uh, I will just drop here the repository and uh, the same thing uh, should happen. The, um, the request is, is sent after the validation to the render infrastructure. So um, what AppSeed does uh, in this moment is just to, to use some uh, scripts provided uh, by us uh, in the previous week. So the deployer can be can be used directly from uh, from GitHub. It's basically the same uh, uh, the same scripts that it, that are using by AppSeed. So this uh, render API wrapper built in Python uh, uses uh, the render API interface with a minimal configuration. Basically, in order to use this uh, this tool, you just need a render API key, which is provided by the platform, and the render own ID, which is optional. And once you provide in the in the environment uh, this minimal information you are able to push uh, any type of uh, deployment into the render infrastructure flash django node.js uh, full stack applications and so on basically appsid uh, uses this uh, open source library and uh, just uh, put some glue with uh, with the ui uh, of course it's uh, it's uh, the, the library is developed by us once the library is stable enough, this wrapper, we will migrate the code to uh, also to Node.js, uh, just to provide two ways uh, uh, to communicate with the render API. In the future, uh, this uh, uh, visual deployer will be uh, provided also for other um, platforms like railways, uh, like um, uh, app platform for, uh, provided by DigitalOcean and other other cool uh, services okay let's go back here and uh, we can see that deployments are in progress i will uh, go here copy the the url of the api and all we need to do is to go back here and uh, configure the uh, the backend server the api backend server which um, in this case uses a, a default one but uh, we need to, to change it in order to use the, the Django version. Once we save the environment, uh, render triggers another deployment for the React Horizon and uh, we can see here that uh, another, another deploy uh, started. Okay, we can go here and uh, check out the progress. Okay. I will uh, re-trigger the, the build. And uh, in just a few minutes, we should be able to, uh, to access the application. In the same way, we can deploy other, uh, other 
uh, services uh, just by using the apps generator. Let's uh, go here. I'm uh, accessing the generator. I will select the React Kit, and uh, from this list, I will pick. Uh, I will select the Django API because I want to deploy this application to Django API. I will click Next and uh, generate the code. Once the code is uploaded to, to GitHub, uh, I can do the same way with this um, uh, this full stack application that has uh, React as a front end and uh, Django as a back end server. And I will uh, I will deploy the product using the same procedure just by dragging with the mouse uh, and dropping here the the URL. So it works in the, in the same way. And uh, I will uh, demonstrate. Um, uh, that we can deploy without uh, any efforts, any full stack application provided by AppSeed in uh, just a few minutes. Let's go back to the render dashboard and uh, check out the, the deployment. Django it's, uh, is deployed, so uh, we can check out the logs of the um, API server, service is live, so it's all good. Uh, now we need to, to wait the completion of the um, of this uh, React uh, UI kit. Uh, usually, React kits, um, the compilation takes longer, it's about three or four minutes, so uh, we need to wait. But uh, in the end, uh, the, the product uh, will work. Also, it's important to know that um, uh, the, the products are tested on uh, all versions uh, flagged with uh, this green. Uh, uh, check mark on the readme so uh, we guarantee that uh, if you are using these versions of uh, Node.js the product works if you want, if you have a platform with an uh, with a let's say with a node 12 might work but we cannot guarantee that so it's better to before using the products just to um, analyze a little bit uh, the compatibility metrics here provided by us we do the same with all our um, products just to help um, developers to to deploy easier the, the products uh, we can check out berry also which is uh, another popular react kit supported by us and uh, coded by coded teams so in this case we can see that the product is compatible with uh, Node.js 14 and 16 but uh, is not successfully compiled uh, using the latest version of react so it might be a good solution uh, to stick with this version which is stable and uh, don't waste time to, to fix uh, the product for um, React 18. Okay, let's go back here and check out the compilation logs. Uh, it's uh, ongoing, also it's in progress. Okay. Um, so We've uh, we've generated a new product with uh, that uses a Django API server and uh, Berry design. I will go here into the deployer, and I will just uh, uh, access the repository and drop here the the link. So the platform will repeat the, the procedure, um, analyze the repository and uh, uh, detects the, the structure and uh, in just a few minutes uh, the, the product should be live without any coding, without... Uh, uh, I, I was just clicking around and uh, it, another fact that it might be important is that I didn't pull any sources into my workstation. So I was just using AppSeed to generate the code. The code was uploaded to to GitHub, and I was just dragging with the mouse the the repository. So it's nothing on my local workstation. Let's go back to the to the render dashboard, and we can see here we have another another build, which is based well on uh, API Server Django and the uh, React UI. is basically this uh, newly generated product. Which is super super cool. Okay, so Horizon now is uh, successfully deployed. Uh, it's configured to to work with this uh, Django Django API, and I will uh, access the product in the browser and uh, interact with the with the UI. 
so it's super nice we need to create an, um, an account and also might be uh, useful to watch the server logs of the um, uh, Django API server and we should uh, see here all the requests sent to the to the backend okay test that apps it dirty yes okay the product is uh, the user is created we are uh, redirected to the sign-in page and uh, now we are good to go and uh, access the private pages after we provide the login credentials so we're in we can see here that requests are pushed into the into the backend and we can play around with the api and uh, we have here new requests the horizon it's a uh, it's super nice um, product is developed by simple uh, comes with uh, uh, dark mode ready uh, is built on top of chakra and looks looks amazing so guys this is the the new feature provided by appsid um, basically you can um, deploy visually your project using the infrastructure um, we will provide a, a good pricing for this uh, for this service but at the same time you can uh, just uh, create a, an account or render and uh, manage yourself the, um, the deployments using the um, uh, open source api wrapper written in python and uh, as i mentioned before the same uh, api and the same wrappers will be provided for at least two other platforms like uh, app platform uh, from DigitalOcean and also railways so uh, uh, should be okay and uh, helpful for the developers uh, to automatize their deployments without the uh, the usual struggle to set up the environment and all the stuff okay um we need to wait a little bit to for this uh, uh deployment of berry now the product is under it's under uh, compilation but should be soon um, finished and uh okay 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 and once it's, uh, it's finished i will uh, i will uh, access the ui and um, play around with uh, registration and uh, sign in okay now the render uh, informs us that the build is completed let's uh, access the product in the browser i will use the same uh, incognito window just to have a clean uh, a clean uh, environment if we we need to create user first user is created we can check out in the here the um, uh, the server logs that the communication is, is nice so uh, I will authenticate and we are good to go so basically this product was generated and the, the first uh, product uh, I was just reusing some some uh, products from uh, from uh, AppSeed uh, provided by AppSeed previously and on github so guys thanks for watching um, let us know what you think uh, soon uh, the um, black friday campaign is uh, uh, becomes active so uh, might be a good uh, moment to uh, to access the platform and uh, check out some some new products let us know what you think in case anyone uh, have issues uh, feel free to access the support page send us an email or uh, chat with us one to one on discord we are uh, super super happy to to help anyone and um, uh, listen your uh, suggestion in case you have one thanks for watching adrian here from Mapsid, and as always i wish you all a super super day bye guys